All right, so this version is, oh, excuse me, much, much easier. So if we preview, um, it's a much easier mesh um, to deal with. So let's reset that and I'll turn this guy off. And let's take a look at it. Um, basically, we just get a series of curves that get lofted. And then um, we array a couple of curves a few curves around it and use those to split the surface. So this gives us a series of um, individual surfaces, right? So instead of working from one big surface and using the points, I'm using the um, much easier way of just dividing the surfaces up and turning those into meshes. Uh, and then those meshes, that mesh, which is divided up into those little split surfaces, gets refined, which you can't really see with this. Um, and then that gets sent into the goals. So the mesh edges, um, they have the um, interior and the exterior naked edges. The naked edges are used to get the anchors, so that's what holds it down. And then um, if we look at the curves here. Oop. For this guy. So all of these get pushed into a spring, basically a line lengthen. Um, so they can be allowed to stretch as much as they need to based on a force. And then um, the show just, you connect the mesh to the solver and that shows the mesh as it changes. Um, and this is a, we'll look at this in a minute, this actually when it's draping down it keeps it from going through the floor. Um, and then the pressure pushes it up and then this guy pushes it down. Um, so let's take a look at it. Come in here and turn on the solver so we can see it. And then um, right now we have it set um, this one is set, so it, it's going to drape, right? And so you'll see it fall. And then the floor here, like if I go to zero, it will go down below the floor. But if you push it up, right, it'll hang out on the floor, right? So that's what that's for. Um, let's go ahead and turn this off, reset it. And then if we put the pressure in, instead of the down, right, um, turn it back on, it poofs, poofs up, right? So this one's much easier to deal with. So um, you would just eventually turn it into a mesh or we can work with some smoothing or things like that. Um, but anyway, that's it. Okay. Oh, I guess one other thing, the you have to come through here to get the mesh and stuff. Um, to bake it into Rhino. So for example, this guy, if I bake it, I'll bake it on three. Right, so there it is. So if I come in and hide this stuff, there's your your poofiness. And we can work on smoothing. I mean, that's not terrible, you know, this definition. Um, but anyway, that's it. I'm not sure why it triangulates down here. Um, doesn't really need to, but anyway.